Cybersecurity is an ever important topic for our process automation customers. And I'd like to talk to you about some strategies that we've developed in the PCS7 portfolio to help you meet those challenges. The first one is utilizing the AS410 controller. It has cybersecurity built in with the SIEM functionality as well as the port control. Let's take a look at what our colleague Doug Ortiz has to say about that topic. No time like ever before is cybersecurity critical to the process plan. IEC 62443-1 is built into the AS410. How is that? In two different ways. One, we block any active connection trying to connect with the CPU. That means if an unqualified personnel are at the plant and they have a laptop and they try to make a connection, the AS410 blocks them automatically. The other part is it's critical to detect any activity at the plant. So there's always a log being kept of any download, firmware update, stop of the controller. It's logged and documented on any station that you see fit. And all those things are built into the AS410, providing our customers the flexibility they need for the Siemens DCS. Cybersecurity is actually a very important piece of the control system. So it's really important to keep your hardware current, your software current. One of the luxuries of Siemens is they have a, a software update subscription service. The majority of all control systems are running on Windows software. Very important to keep that updated. Having a combination of a WSUS server and the somatic Windows managing platform it really helps to make it easier to roll out those patches to all of your computers and all your stations. Another topic is being able to manage your software. Something that's very important is keeping your antivirus up to date. Using your WSUS as well as using the Windows Defender application to maintain your system can be done, but Siemens has automated ways to do that through the Somatic Management Console. Let's take a look at my colleague Mike McCollum's example as he does this demonstration. As of PCS7 version 9.1, the management console allows the user to deploy Microsoft software update installations. The Microsoft software updates are remotely deployed from Windows Server Update Services to Windows Update Agents on each target computer of the Somatic Management Console. This procedure follows the same set of steps used for the deployment of Somatic software updates. Information about already installed Microsoft software updates, as well as those that are currently being installed, are reported by the management console. Windows Defender logged events are displayed in the events window, and critical events are displayed in the alarm window as well. As of PCS7 version 9.1 Service Pack 1, you now have the option to configure automated emails to be sent out when Windows Defender critical events occur on any of the computers that are present on the network. This feature allows the user to configure the outgoing email server, sender info and list of recipients, as well as the encryption protocol and port number through which the secure email is transmitted. Another important topic is to keep your firmware up to date. It's not the easiest thing to keep that inventory at all times, so wouldn't it be nice to have an automated way to keep that inventory? With the Somatic Management Console, you can not only keep the inventory of all your firmwares and all your devices, but as we think about it, our networks are also very important. So let's even include these scale and switches as we consider the firmware versions and that we should be doing upgrades to make sure that we're up to the highest level of cyber secure. Let's take a look at how to use the Somatic Management Console to do a hardware compare of our PCS7 system. In order to do this, we must first specify the engineering station where the PCS7 project is located. To do this, we go to the settings and then specify engineering station. Now that we've done that, let's switch from the network view to the plant view of the management console. Here we can add a plant, select our engineering station, and then select the project where we want to compare hardware. When the project arrives in our plant view, we can right click and choose compare somatic hardware versions. Next, we need to select the latest XML reference file. The hardware reference file can be downloaded from the PCS7 version 9.1 Service Pack 1 software updates page on the Siemens Industry Online Support. 
We'll leave the empty cover page selected and then select the storage location for the report to be generated. After that, we can hit OK and then wait for the message that the comparison has completed successfully. Opening the report, we look at the Hardware Comparison tab where the information is organized in columns, including project path, device type, and part number. Furthermore, we can compare the recorded hardware version and firmware version columns against the available hardware and firmware version columns. From this report, we can determine that we have several Profinet components and scaleless devices that have out-of-date firmware, which we can start planning to update. Siemens has been proactive and has been communicative about their cybersecurity, talking about what's possible, what's recommended, you know, what the future of cybersecurity for PCO7 and for process automation as a whole. That really is the future, is, is big data and cybersecurity, and Siemens has been excellent at providing as much context as they possibly can to me and to my peers about their offerings.